Caleb and Steve with Brownells here. Today we're back with another edition of Smith Busters. And the myth we're taking a look at today is that a bullet will rise when it leaves the muzzle. That's right. I've heard people swear up and down that as soon as the bullet leaves the muzzle, it starts to go up. Yep. And I've heard it and I've heard this when I was in the army. Right. And so it's it's a pretty well-known myth I think for um, sure. most beginning shooters or and I think what the problem is, is they're confusing it with the trajectory, which does rise. Right. It goes, but it goes in line with the bore. Right, so those numbers are gonna go up and then right. they're gonna go back down. What they don't realize is in relation to the, to the uh, scope or sights or what have you, that the barrel is pointed upward slightly. It has to, otherwise the bullet would drop pretty darn quick. Right, so your bullet's coming straight out of the muzzle right. in relation to the barrel, it's moving straight but your sights are coming basically pointing down at a point to intersect. That's correct. So when they intersect, typically that number is going to continue to rise sure. and then drop back down and they'll intersect at another point. Sure, because even though your crosshairs are on the target, your barrel is more is pointing above that target somewhere. Right, exactly. So that's where the confusion came from, but the point is the bullet, there's no way for it to physically rise. It's going to come no. straight out that muzzle right. and begin to drop but it does go up on a trajectory right. over your line of sight and then come back down. And uh, in the military, you know, on an M4 or something, the, the sights are about that far above the barrel and that works to your advantage. It goes under the line of sight, comes up over, comes back under, and you can get about a 300 meter point blank where you just aim at the target, center of the target, it's gonna hit on there somewhere. And that's great for a soldier who doesn't really care if he shoots well or not. We learned that 300 meter battle site back in the 1970s when I was in basic training. And I'll bet you heard it too. We did the same thing in 2008. Yeah. So if you want to add to this, take away from it, or if you have a myth that you'd like us to bust, feel free to leave us a comment down below, or of course give us a call on the tech line. We'll be happy to help you out. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time on another edition of Smith Busters.